we've now got this media in the scene giving us shadows and reflections. We need a clean version of that media for our comp. So what we're going to do is go to our comp, add layer element, and select another media plate, and we'll call that plate. And we know that we're outputting from key a render target. So what we're going to do is in the input of plate, we're going to select that render target. So we go inputs, media source, texture input, and add key, right? So that's now coming through to our plate, chroma keyed. And for the transform and compositing passes, we don't need any of the chroma keying because we've done that already. So we can delete all of these. And then we're going to add one more, which is this owl plane transform pass. And this is the transform pass, which is going to map the media to the plane so that it'll scale dynamically as you move your camera. So all we do is we select the plane and we can now see that the media is now placed in relation to the camera. So we've got the camera selected. It's actually selected by default because it's coming through the rest of the comp. But if we pilot that camera, we'll see this media automatically scale in size. So we open this up and we can see like this. So it's a very neat system which just automatically in the background scales the media in proportion to the position of the camera. And that now means that instead of your media being always full plate, which it would be without the transform pass, now you can have the media scaling in response to moving cameras. So this is a major update to Composure.